Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Welcome to our physics lecture here. Well, before we start our lecture, we have to understand length, mass, time. Mass is something that you know very well. But there are masses out there that you have no clue about. Mass of universe. Mass of an electron. Mass of universe is big. Mass of the electron is small. And for comparison, what do we know? What we know is that mass of a human being, roughly 80 kg. Mass of a sheet of paper, 4 grams. Now let us look at the length that we now know. Radius of universe, pretty big. Too big for us to understand. And then there is something called the Planck's length. And that is very, very tiny. So compare that with the radius of a US dime or a walk in the park. So these are things that you are comfortable with. You are comfortable with a ruler. You are comfortable with how tall are you. You are comfortable with a walk in your neighborhood. You are comfortable with how much distance you need to park a car. Well, now let us look at time. Age of universe, pretty big. A possible short time, really small for us to understand. But we know what an hour is. We know what a second is. So if you use comfortable length, comfortable mass, and comfortable time, what is that world that we live in? How do we understand that world? That is our focus. Can you imagine yourself as the engineer to send people out into space? It becomes a very complicated system. That's what people did during the Apollo mission. They had the task of taking people, taking machines into the outer space where there is no gravity and still they succeeded to go to the moon, to land on Mars, all because of physics people. Of course, we need chemistry, physics, biology, everything out there. That's what makes us all live together. My own belief is that whoever can put applications of physics, chemistry and biology, that is where the future is headed. One who can master physics, chemistry, biology, all. That is a very priceless person to work with. So what do we know about an atom? Atoms are made of negatively charged electrons, positively charged protons and neutrons. Neutral atoms have equal number of electrons and protons. Neutral atoms have equal number of electrons and protons. Which one is heavier? Proton. Mass of a proton is 2000 times the mass of an electron. There is one more thing that you need to understand and that is there is a gravitational force of attraction between any two non-zero masses. There is always a force of attraction between two non-zero masses and that force is always attractive. Two non-zero masses have a force of attraction between them. Let us get to the meat of what we want to do. What is linear motion? What is non-linear motion? Distance, speed, vector, direction of motion, position, displacement along x, y and z directions, average velocity, change in velocity, instantaneous velocity and acceleration. That is our goal. Understand and be comfortable with everything from 1 through 12. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.